Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time watching, you are so very welcome. So I know it's been a while, I'm feeling better now and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So I know uh, a number of you have been requesting for my skincare routine. It is coming up on my next video in like four days. So please, please, please be patient with me on the video. And uh, today we're going to do a total transformation on this face, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. Then I'll be back, and we shall continue with this video. So don't forget, to, don't forget to subscribe. Share your thoughts on the comment section down below, including all the suggestions you have on the next video I should do. Kindly suggest down below on the comment section. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and yeah, hit that notification bell. Okay. So with no further ado, let's go straight into the video. Um, I'll, I mean, when I'm back, I'll be doing a voiceover, so. See ya. First things first, we're going to prep our lids using illegal co concealer in the shade form. Just going to apply one tap on the lids because when you use a lot of products, there's a very big chance your eyeshadow is going to crease. So I'm going to blend in with my finger. So using a very small brush as shown, I am going to apply my first transitioning shade, which is from Cara Beauty, in that shade. So I am going to tap that in around my crease area. Okay, so I'm going to focus right above my cut crease area to blend. To blend in, I'm going to use that orange from Cara Beauty. Okay, so I normally use um, circular motions when it comes to blending my transitioning shades. And as I said earlier on in my other videos, kindly avoid dragging. Okay, so to draw our cut crease, we're going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer. Okay, so while doing this, focus on the crease area. Don't go overboard. Don't overdraw, either, in other words, sorry. And while filling in concealer, tap it in. Don't drag for a smooth blend. Don't drag. Next, we're going to switch it up and use Morphe number 35B in gold. Like always, tap it in, babe. Tap it in. Tap, tap. And I'm going to use the first shade I used before to blend in. And that is it for our eyes, beautiful people. Today we're keeping it simple. And I'm going to apply the Chloe eyelashes from, is it our? Using the Duo Lash Glue. That is how the original Duo Lash Glue looks like. Guys, I am so used to dramatic lashes. I have this one's on and I don't feel nothing. I feel like I have nothing on. Like, I'm like they're very light. They are very, very light. But if you're going for natural look, I, I think these lashes are the best for natural looks. Like you can't even see them. Yeah. I'm moving on to the face. I'm going to use this face 24 primer. So for our foundation today, we're going to use Milani in the shade um, Spiced Almond. If you're going to use a beauty blender, kindly use it while it's wet. Okay, so to highlight, I'm going to use Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade phone, and I'm going to highlight my under eyes, nose, areas around my mouth, and forehead. So like that, and I'm going to use my Wet Beauty Blender to blend that in. Okay. 
okay so to set i'm going to use such a buttercup setting powder i normally just set i don't bake because my skin is dry and i don't want to make it any drier so i normally set the areas where i highlighted previously yes and yes i set my eyebrows to add So to contour I normally use powder and today I'm going to use the Joanna K Cosmetics palette uh -huh. We're going to use the eyeshadow and I'm going to use the shade Transition to contour So I'm going to contour the areas around my cheekbones, my forehead and my nose For my nose I normally use a more angled brush to contour Ooh, The secret is about to be revealed Yes, I use eyeshadow for my under eyes. Mm -hmm. To highlight today, I'm going to use e.l.f. in Apricot Glow. Okay guys, so I realized the secret is to focus the highlight on the cheeks, not to drag it all the way up. Like I used to do the same mistake. I normally use a tiny brush to highlight my nose and then I blend it in with my finger. Okay guys, so for my lips today I'm going to use Colourpop Lippies in Mamacita and this other one. Oy. It does not have a shade name by the way, the red, the bright red one. It is um, a collab between Ilu. <laughs> I will just write it up there because I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? Yeah. okay guys so that would be it from me today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something and uh that would be it from me today thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you next time bye